Hey there, I'm Emily Mielstein with the Gulf of Mexico Fishery Management Council, and this is a public hearing video on a framework action that considers modifying red snapper catch limits. I'm going to start with a recent history of red snapper catch limits because a lot has gone on in the last couple of years. So it all begins with CDAR 52, which is the stock assessment for red snapper that was completed in 2018. Now that assessment determined that red snapper is neither overfished nor experiencing overfishing, and it allowed the council's scientific and statistical committee to generate a overfishing limit of 15.5 million pounds and an acceptable biological catch limit of 15.1 million pounds. So coming on the heels of that stock assessment, we also got the preliminary results of the Great Red Snapper Count and the interim analysis from NOAA Fisheries that uses their bottom longline index. So the Council's Scientific and Statistical Committee suggested setting the overfishing limit based on the catch analysis that was informed by the Great Red Snapper Count. And you can see that greatly enhanced the overfishing limit up to 25.6 million pounds. And then they set the acceptable biological catch based on a declining trend in abundance that was recognized by that NIMS bottom long line survey, um, and also due to some uncertainty in the estimates that were derived from the Great Red Snapper Count. So they set the acceptable biological catch at 15.4 million pounds. So a little bit above what was seen in CDAR 52. So from there, the council took action and decided to set an annual catch limit equal to the acceptable biological catch. So that brings us to why we're here. We did get an update to the Great Red Snapper Count and new catch advice was generated using updated estimates of absolute abundance of red snapper for Florida, Alabama, Mississippi, and Texas. And then we also had enhanced studies from LGL Associates for the state of Louisiana. Now what you'll notice is after the Scientific and Statistical Committee reviewed this, the advice for the overfishing limit decreased. And it decreased due to an increased recognition of uncertainty in biomass, also uh, the understanding that the proportion of biomass that was vulnerable to fishing, and a change in our understanding of the productivity of the stock itself. And so the overfishing limit decreased from that 25 million pound recommendation to 18.9 million pounds. But what you'll also notice is the acceptable biological catch has increased by almost a million pounds. And so uh, it is now at 16.31 million pounds. And so now it's the council's turn to take action based on the recommendations from its scientific and statistical committee. Uh, our first alternative is always the no action alternative and that could leave our catch recommendations as they are currently. Or uh, our preferred alternative is alternative two, which would modify our catch limits based on the recommendation of our scientific and statistical committee, um, based on that data that's derived from the Great Red Snapper Count for all of the states except for Louisiana, and then incorporating the new study completed by the contractor for the state of Louisiana. And this table just shows you a breakdown of what the sector specific and state specific specific catch limits are um, under that preferred alternative two. So the council is planning to take final action on this amendment in August. We would like to hear your feedback on whether we should keep our catch limits as, as they are or if we should modify them based on the results of the updated Great Red Snapper Count as well as the study of absolute abundance off of the state of Louisiana. So if you'd like to send us comments, you can do so either by following this tiny URL or by simply emailing golfcouncil at golfcouncil.org. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video and send us your thoughts.